Hello guys, how's it going? In this video I will show you how to query the dbpedia uh, RDF graph with Python and the Sparkle wrapper. So first of all, what we want to do is make sure to install the RDF and the Sparkle wrapper library. So I'm going to run it on the Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook like so with the um, exclamation pip mark. And then we are, I'm going to import all the libraries that we will be using like so. And um, yeah, we can start querying the data. So first thing first, what we want to do is initialize the uh, Spark wrapper instance by um, passing in the URL to the dbpd uh, uh, Sparkle endpoint. So this is the endpoint that um, you can use to query the data from dbpedia. And just for the reference, this is a, a Barack Obama uh, entity and um, it, here are its properties and its values that you can actually query from, from the endpoint. So we can do the same from the Python just by setting the query and um, creating a same query as you would in the, on the query endpoint. So in this case, we are going to uh, look for objects where the subject is Barack Obama and its label or its property is RDFS label. Um, then we are going to set the returning format to JSON, uh, query the data, and convert the raw data into something usable, and then we can print it out. And uh, yeah, once I print out the data, we can see that these are these are the actual labels for uh, for Barack Obama entity. Now. Um, we can simply iterate over the results like so to um, print it in a nicer format. We can also uh, get its language and the language of the, of the object and its value and print it in a nicer way. Now, uh, let's say that we want to um, get something else from the Barack Obama entity. So for example, let's, let's get the abstract. So let's get all this information. Um, so instead of the RDF as label, I'm going to change this to DBO abstract. Um, and the object is going to stay the same. I'm going to set the format. I'm going to query it and then iterate over all the results. Uh, get its language, its value, and then simply print it out. And we can see that these are all the uh, abstract, abstract value of Barack Obama. Um, let's actually filter out which are not in English and execute it like so. And we should get the uh, abstract of Barack Obama entity from the DBpedia. And as we can see, it's identical. Okay, so let's look at another example. Uh, in this case, we are going to be constructed our own graph from um, the results that we get in DBpedia. So let's look at the machine learning um, entity subject and Let's get it a broader, uh, all the all the broader concepts and all all the narrower concepts of machine learning. So if I execute this query, we can see that a broader concept of uh, machine learning is artificial intelligence, and a narrower concept would be a or a subclass of machine learning would be a Markov Marco model. Um, so we can simply execute query like this. And since we want to create our own, own graph from this, um, we can add in the construct clause and just set the returning um, format as we wish so. Um, in this case, I'm going to set the returning format to n triples, um, query it, convert it again, and then initialize a new graph using the RDF library. Uh, parse the data and uh, set its format to M3 and then we can simply serialize the graph and print it out and we can see that we have constructed from uh, from this data 
that we have created, we, can, we have constructed our own graph, which contains machine learning as the head entity, um, its broader concepts like artificial intelligence and its narrower concepts like um, Marco's model. Okay, um, moving on. Now, let's imagine that you have a list of different entities that you want to query in, in series. So in this case, I have created a list of um, 10 different instruments that I want to get some information from uh, for each of the instruments. So I have created a loop. I'm simply iterating over, over all the individual instruments. Um, I have created this uh, huge F string, which uh, contains the query and the placeholders for the instrument. So every time every um, in the loop, the um, instrument is going to be plugged in, plugged in in this place, and this query is going to be executed. Um, in addition, I'm also filtering the uh, the labels and the comments so that the results are only in English, and setting the resulting format to JSON, querying the data. And then uh, simply getting the data and um, processing it and printing it out. So um, here we can see the, the instrument name, we can see the picture of the instrument, and then we can see the description, a uh, short description of the actual instrument. Um, this is how the trombone looks like, uh, air horn, a kazoo, um, etc. etc. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know, um, leave the comment down in, in the description and yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.